Now we are going to see like fractions. So what is like fraction? I've told you have the have, have the denominators are same. Have the denominators denominators d-e-n-o-m-i-n-a-t-o-r didn't have the denominators have the same have the same denominator otherwise have the same denominators it is called as a like fractions so look at the denominators so 3 by 7 it's a denominator 2 by 7 7 is a denominator 5 by 7 7 is a denominator and 6 by 7 7 is a denominator so all their fractions the same denominator it comes same denominator it comes so have the same denominator if the denominator is same in all the fraction it is called as a like fraction okay now unlike fraction means what 4 by 7 5 by 10 6 by 12 3 by 9 so you can see different fractions uh, you can see uh, different examples you can see the different examples so uh, but you look at the denominators denominators is not same so have the different denominators have the different denominator is called as a unlike fraction what is this unlike fraction have the different denominators have the different different denominators d e n o m i n a t o or s have the different denominators it is called as a unlike fractions so example is 4 by 7 so look at the denominator 7 here and 5 by 10 next example 5 by 10 look at the denominator it is 10 and the next denominator is 6 by 12 so what is the denominator 12 3 by 9 9 is the denominator so all the denominators are different so it is a unlike fraction so what is a like fraction if all the denominators are same it is a like fraction all the denominators are different whatever the fraction is given for you uh, if the denominators have the same denominator if the denominators are same it is a like fraction if the denominators are different or if the denominators are not same it is a unlike fraction okay now we are moving we are going to see equivalent fraction what is the equivalent fraction so before that i just want to uh, draw a small diagram so look at this diagram this is a circle okay i'll cut into equal half so i cut into equal half so this is a circle this is a whole thing i cut into equal half so what do you say it is one by two so i'm going to shade the portion in red color okay i'm going to shade the portion in red color that is red color i'm going to shade it okay i'm giving the red color for this okay red color so completely red i'm giving okay so i shaded the portions in red color so this is red and this is what it is white color so first you can see look at look at the full circle that means a full circle it's a whole thing after that i cut into equal halves what do you call what do you say how do you say this uh, fraction what do you say that is half circle that is one by two half circle that is one by two it is an example of fractions and now look at this diagram look at this diagram this is a square so i cut into four equal parts so i'm going to shade at the portion so two so what is this two by four so shaded portion is two the overall is four parts so shaded shaded portion overall parts is four equal parts this is a total a total total part of the what a square and after that a shaded portion is two so two by four is a fraction here a single circle so i'll cut into equal halves so one part is shaded so it is it is in red color so half a circle only you you, you say this circle is a half a circle so one portion two portions are here but i shaded only one portion that is in red color so how do you say the circle how do you say what do you say it is a half a circle so one by two so i took one part in red color so overall is two parts but i took only one part uh, i took I, I took or not took I colored only one particular part that is in red color that is 1 by 2 so you can say it is a half a circle for this diagram you can say actually four equal 
parts i cut into four equal parts then but i shaded only two portions at two parts so you can see two by four next is so one circle two circle three circle four circle and fourth fifth circle so altogether five circle but i shaded how many parts i shaded only three so how many circles overall five circles so but shaded as how many three so how do you say three by five this is the fraction you have to do it okay so this is the method of writing the fraction this is the method of writing the fractions i'll repeat once again i just draw the circle after that what i've done it i cut into equal half then i shaded only one particular part that is in red color so what do you say the red, red one by two so the shaded portion shaded portion is in call shaded only one portion so we can say it is a one by two that is totally equal parts is two equal parts but i shaded only one part you can say is half a circle that is one by two one portion is red in color and after that i draw the square and after that i cut into four equal parts and after that i shaded two portions or uh, two portion only a uh, two part only so two portions are shaded so two by four here three circles are here i shaded only three circles the remaining is two but overall how many circles are five five circles but the shaded circle is three so three by five that's all so it's not a proper uh, one minute i draw the proper so this is a proper square so after that we shaded so 2 by 4 